correct? So it's not going to look exactly as hers because these are random. But it's normally for the eyebrows, it would take half an hour. Hello there. Okay. How are you today? Oh, nice to meet you. I'm Joni. So, we are going to be doing freckles and eyebrows today. Oh, amazing. So, tell me, how do you find about us? Oh, and Yelp. Oh, well, thank you so much for checking us out. So tell me, what do you have in mind for your eyebrows and your freckles? Mm -hmm. Oh, you saw a picture in our gel profile. Uh, do you happen to have a screenshot? Because we have so many. Oh, you ran out of parody. Well, we have some chargers here in case you want to charge your phone. But don't worry, I can pull up my phone and search for the picture. Do you remember the type of um, freckles that you were looking for? Mm hmm. Okay, let me see. The girl had red lips. Okay, could it be this one? This one has a full face of freckles, including forehead, cheek area, nose, and chin. Mm. You're looking for full face, too. Uh, this one is another one with red lips, also that we did her freckles. This one is only on the nose and cheek area. Not quite. Okay, this other girl. We also did this part. Uh, she has red lips, but in this picture is covered by a mask. Hmm. This one also full face of freckles. Mm, okay. You like the first one. So this will be a full service. Mm hmm. Quite beautiful, to be honest. Yeah, we call this the Galaxy Freckles because it's all over. For her in particular, it was uh, the biggest size. Now you can choose between this one. Or something more subtle such as this one mm -hmm. the other one was more noticeable something more subtle okay and about your eyebrows hmm. just want to fill up the gaps and design it so nothing to to elaborate for your eyebrows Okay, I understand. Very good. So let me start by measuring your features. Let's see what we're working with. Now, eyebrows are done by my partner here. She's already finishing one client. So once I am done with your freckles, She's going to be working with you for your eyebrows, okay? Yeah, our discount, two for one. Mm -hmm. Now, we are going to be charging you the service that costs more, which in this case would be the... Uh, okay, you just want to retouch for your eyebrows. Let me measure, okay? So I know how much ink you're going to need. And as for your freckles, do you want them to be permanent, semi-permanent, henna freckles? We can 
didn't do any. Okay. Very good. Let's take a look. First, let's go with your eyebrows here. For the eyebrows, it would take half an hour. For your freckles, uh, about 20 minutes. Yeah, it's not, doesn't take too long. Very good. Okay, try to look straightforward, please. Thank you. I'm going to mark you. In this area then here let me see um, yeah definitely it's gonna be the eyebrows the ones that we are gonna be charging you today okay very good the only thing that you're gonna be paying for your um, I'm sorry, for your freckles, it's the work, the work that I'm doing, which is 10% of price. Is that okay? Very good. We're going to do a little test now to make sure that you don't have any allergic reactions to the inks that we use for eyebrows and for the freckles okay we have this cotton swabs infused with our ink hopefully you're not gonna have any reaction and apply in one of your eyebrows and on your cheek area This acts pretty fast, so we'll know in a second. Now, this is the needle that we're going to be using for your freckles. Don't worry, it's not going to puncture you. It's just to apply on the surface. And this is going to leave little tiny dots of the ink, okay? Let's see. Okay, I see no reaction at all, so we are free to go. Let's see the ink that we are going to be mixing for you. five and two for your skin tone. Right. Now let's prepare your skin. Let's clear it out. Do you have any itchiness? Not at all? Okay. That's good. This is to soothe the skin before we start, okay? Now the needle that you see, it's not gonna hurt. It's just gonna feel pressure, okay? Let's fill this up. Mm. 
Now, so we agree that we are going to be doing picture number two that I show you. Oops, I lost it. Oh, here we go. Uh, this one, right? With very delicate tones, correct? So it's not going to look exactly as hers because these are random. But it's going to be the same type of distribution of the freckles. Okay, so let's, let's do a little test. Let me see how you react to this. Ready? How did it go? Did it hurt? You feel fine? Okay, now I'm going to do a lot more closer. How did it go? You're fine with that? Okay. So once I start, I'm going to enter to a little rhythm. So in case that you need to sneeze or cough, please let me know. Okay? Ready? Here we go. If you feel discomfort, please let me know. Last thing we got. We want is for you to feel uneasy. doing great one second hi are you done with the client okay we also have uh, eyebrows here yeah just to fill up no design required. Yeah, a few measurements. It's going to be for the discount to for one. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, um, I will be done with the freckles and I will send it to your nook. Okay? Sure. So she's ready for you. The moment we finish here, we're going to send you there. Okay. Ready? Now your skin might get a little bit red, that is normal, okay, because we are making little punctures. Some skins don't react, other skins tend to get really red, but that will pass. By the moment your eyebrows are done, the redness should clear completely. Very good. Now this will last you around, it depends on the skin, on our skin oils or facial oils, but more or less six months. If you want to get a retouch, you can come after the fifth month, we can start doing it for you. So we already have the pattern, but if you wait until it completely dissolved and we will have to um, charge full price mm -hmm. right now you're only paying for my time you're not paying for the items that we use the ink or anything yeah 
time you can make an appointment so you don't forget we will be calling you beforehand tell you about your appointment if you still want to fill up your freckles Okay, let me change inks, okay? Yeah, for normal freckles, we don't want it to be just one tone. It has to be a combination. again now the first three days the freckles are gonna look um, quite pigmented after that time it's gonna start fading into its normal color okay because the ink is going to settle into your skin pores. So by then they are going to be completely healed. Yeah, kind of like a tattoo. But this is more in the surface than a tattoo that goes a little bit deeper than this. So good in you. Very, very pretty. Okay. You have a mirror right here on your side. How do you think about the distribution? We can add a little bit more. We cannot remove them, but we can add a little bit more if you want. Or put a little bit more in certain areas. Most of my clients like to put a little bit more here which is the cuter part <laughs> okay now you see that it's starting to get a little bit red and it looks more pigmented the color is stronger don't be afraid it's not gonna look like that by the third day sometimes the second day and the redness is gonna clear completely once your eyebrows are done so don't worry about that once you're done with us here, it's going to look completely natural. Okay, now let me tell you about extra care. Once you're done also with your eyebrows, they're going to tell you a similar thing, which is do not uh, put any water into the area for at least 24 hours. Try not to do anything that will cause sweating and maybe not even 24 hours in your case I would say 12 hours should be enough for your eyebrows I'm not sure what they're gonna do with you but normally it's between 12 hours to 48 hours depending on what they work with you she's gonna be telling you about that but for the freckles in particular 12 hours would be fine uh, this is just to let the ink set. Normally, it starts doing it uh, after the sixth hour, but I would prefer to wait a full 12 hours if it's possible, 24 hours, but I know it can be a little bit difficult. So, 12 hours will be a nice mark to wait for that. Okay, so I will join you uh, here with my partner so we can do your eyebrows. This way. Welcome to our raw salon. Can I have your name, please? 
Mm. Oh, you are here for the complete eyebrow package. Very good choice. You want to start the year with brand new eyebrows. Okay, so let me tell you about our complete eyebrow uh, service. So what we're going to be doing right now, we're going to first do an inspection of your current eyebrows to see its need and what you want for your eyebrows in this new year. Uh, what are your concerns about your eyebrows right now? Hmm. Okay. First of all, please take a seat. Are you comfortable in this position? Okay, if not, you can recline your chair and I'm just going to accommodate you. Okay. okay, first let me just put on a pair of gloves so I can touch your skin. Okay, see that you're wearing eyebrow makeup right now, okay? Is this a normal shape that you use in your eyebrows or do you change styles? Hmm. Okay, I normally ask this because sometimes our clients do their eyebrows the way they want it and they want to keep the same shape after we do our job. And other times they just want a complete change. Okay, you're open to changes. Let's take a look here. Okay, the shape that you have done to you is very beautiful and very flattening for your face shape. And the color is also very beautiful. But we need to take that off to see your real eyebrow. Okay. So you're telling me that you normally don't change styles with this? Okay. So. Okay. Have you ever tried microblading? Henna coloring? Okay, yeah. I don't see that you had any treatments done in your eyebrows at the moment. Hmm, okay, I see. It's really an irregular shape that you have. You have been filling it up quite a lot. Some missing parts and a few gaps in your eyebrow shape. So you normally draw on this area here in the curb. Mm. Okay. I'm gonna make you do a couple of eye exercises to see how your eyebrows shape uh, works when you're doing some emotions. Okay. Can you raise your eyebrows? Yeah, because it's very important to know how your eyebrows behave with this kind of emotions. Raise them up. Now a little bit angry. Okay. Now very happy, big eyes, frown a little bit more, hmm. okay that's enough, good, so, hmm. okay, here in our salon we don't do microblading or micro shading, anything like that, nothing is permanent, certainly permanent, what we do here, we specialize in giving you a new eyebrow, that is gonna last time, but it's not something that is irreversible. Because sometimes with microblading, you can cut some of your real eyebrow, and that can lead to some people to eyebrow uh, loosen some eyebrows with time, and it doesn't grow up uh, again. <clears throat> but that is in um, a really few people. So depending on the type of eyebrow, we try to do a certain. Uh, procedures and certain uh, services a little bit different to accommodate them. Okay. Let me brush them up in place. Okay. The most important thing here is give you a 
regular shape that you are missing right now. We're gonna have to do uh, some measurings too, so both eyebrows look exactly the same. Since you have uh, a few gaps with no eyebrow, we're gonna have to put. I recommend you our extension kit. Um, for you, it will be very beneficial. This is what it looks our extension kit. We have used it many times here in our salon, so we are experts on it. Let me just show you how it looks. It's exactly how it sounds. We apply an little hair of eyebrow directly to your eyebrow area so this is how it looks the kit it's tiny little hairs that we're gonna be applying directly on the areas that you're missing for you in your case I would like to add them at the start of the eyebrow which will be let me show you right here in our shirt. We'll be right here at the start of the eyebrow that you're missing quite a lot of hairs. I don't really like to put uh, eyebrows extension on the middle or at the end because then it's to look uh, fake. Um, in your case in particular, I want to add them at the first, at the start, and make it look natural, make it look like um, fading effect where it's a little bit lighter here and goes darker as it goes to the tail. Now for your face shape, uh, I want to go with a soft angle which will be this one right here. It's a very natural angel, um, sorry, angle that looks uh, perfect for many face types. And any type of eyes too it looks very very beautiful. We can also go with a round shape, which will be this one right here. But in your case, I saw how you were doing your eyebrows. Uh, yours were a little bit angled, like this one. You can see how it goes up and then down. Mm -hmm. But I think we can go in the middle of the soft angle and round kind of like uh, right here and that shape will look very good on you on your type of face and your eyes and that's one, uh, what I want to try out for that shape in particular we're gonna have to twist out a little bit in this area to give the exact shape that we want to accomplish and as I was saying I'm going to be applying the extensions right here at the beginning of your eyebrows just a little bit to give it a look of natural hairs so we don't have to draw lines every time in microblading they draw the lines of the hairs in this part but if it's not done by true professionals with um, very nice drawing skills, it can look just like a plain line there of hair. And that doesn't look good at all. So with the extensions, we can look, give that natural look without complications or having the fear that we're going to remove more of the eyebrows that you're failing to have. So we're going to be working there. Now we're going to start first with the measuring. I'm going to have a perfect angle for you. I'm using this pencil right here. And um, this one here. So now what I need you to do is just sit back, very straight, 
I'm going to put this to protect your clothing. And putting your hair to the back too. So it doesn't fall off into your eyes. Okay. I mean, if it's too tight for you, you're okay. Okay, let me take a closer look of your eyebrow hairs, okay? This one, I know where I'm gonna begin. You can barely see them. You want to see the growth, the natural growth of your eyebrows. How a natural goes out. Okay, first with the measuring, I'm going to be drawing the outer line of the eyebrow that I want to do for you. And from there, you can see if you like it or not. Okay. Let's make pencil. First we need a straight line between the eyebrows there. Now this angle too. Good. Now where does your eyebrow end? Naturally, I can barely see it, but okay, we're gonna go along with the natural eyebrow line, okay? Which will be from the nose to your eye, like this. Okay, like so. Same here. Nice. Now I'm gonna draw it in a way that I believe is gonna compliment you, especially with your beautiful eyes. And I'm gonna fill it up a little bit. Okay, so just you, you can see how, uh, what is the, the shape and how it's gonna be filling up, but right now it's just with color. It's gonna look different with the extensions and the other things that I'm gonna be doing on them. This is just a little preview of it. Okay, now you can take the mirror right here and see for yourself. You can see that it's a little bit wider than you, your original eyebrow makeup. It's barely noticeable, but it's a little bit wider. Now the tail goes a little bit longer, more than you already had. But this is the length that is natural for your eyebrow and your eyebrow shape. Okay. Now, you see here, I draw the hairs barely seenable. That's how it's gonna be looking with the extensions. Now, on this area here in the curve, you see that it's not angled as you had it before. That is what's 
kind of like a triangle on that area, in the pointy area. Now it's softer, as I was showing you here, with the soft angle and the, the round shape. But yeah, you can still see when you go up, exactly. So that is what I'm going to be working with. Now, on this area right here, you can see that it goes a little bit from your natural eyebrow. We're going to twist that out just to give it the shape. Mm -hmm. Because right now you're shapeless, uh, you have sporadic eyebrows going around, so you have to work with that. I, I understand that you don't want to pluck anymore, but you're going to have to give it the, the shape that is going to go natural with your eyebrow. Okay, now let me just plug them up and cut a little bit. Yeah, because eyebrows keep growing up and when we get old, they're gonna go longer and longer. Now I'm going to plug some areas right there. Okay, that looks good. Now in a moment I'm going to remove the fill up of the eyebrow. The outer line is gonna stay there because I use a different color in the area. Good. There we go. Now you can see again how that I have plucked the extra hairs. Yeah, completely different, isn't it? It looks very natural, like it's your own brow, almost, but with color. Yeah, now imagine with distensions. Now let's remove the Filler. Now the rest of the eyebrow we're going to fill it up with a tint in a microblading kind of technique which is drawing but we are not gonna cut the skin like with microplating this technique allows the eyebrow hairs that I'm gonna draw to stay there for around six weeks six to eight weeks so by the six week you can come and get a fill up with half price and continue doing that. All that's with uh, microblading, it lasts for around a year. But you are having the risk to kill some of your real eyebrows and risk too with the pain. Some people don't really like the needles. So 
it's always good to have alternative to it. Now, let's get the right tone for you. Because we have, okay, this one a little bit into the reds. This one is a lighter brown. darkish brown and we have the black um, let's see I'm trying to determine with the eyebrows that you have left okay we're gonna go with this one mm. yeah definitely this one is gonna work on you it aside. And we're gonna prime your eyebrow to get the adhesive. Okay, as so you can see here, the adhesive is completely new, completely sealed. It's gonna be used just on you. Okay, we don't reuse glue or adhesive in our clients. And these are the new tweezers that I'm going to be using on you for your new brow extension. Okay, let's prime the area. Okay, this is going to be done hair by hair. Now you can recline your chair a little bit to the back while I work on this, okay? Let's put my adhesive here. And let's start up, okay? This is a very delicate. Try not to move while I work on it. The trick here is to know where to put them. Because if you put it in a wrong direction is going to look very very weird. Now you're going to be able to brush them up, put color on them, but you have to be very delicate when you wash your face or if you have a little bit of, you need to scratch the area because if you do it too hard you can risk removing them but most of the time they survive 90% of them until week 8 so there's not a lot of problem now we're just putting it at the start of your eyebrow I'm gonna give it a natural look Okay, try not to move, please. Nice. Okay, it's starting to fill up uh, already. Yeah, because we have different sizes. We have from size 5 to size 8, which is the longest one. These are the ones that we use at the start of the eyebrow because it's the longest one. And then we go slowly going down on sizes. 
Now, do you have any plans on changing your hair color? Yeah, because the eyebrow has a different tone if you tend to change your hair too dramatically. I mean, we can change it if you plan to change your hair color before the eighth week. We can add a different one. Yeah, it takes quite a time, quite a lot of time to apply them. <laughs> but it, it's fun. It's quite relaxing to, to do so. Very good. Let's continue. Yeah, you can use a brush. Uh, uh, this is a normal brush that, let me show you, that we tend to use for makeup and for our eyebrows. The bristles can be a little bit harder. They're soft enough, but for the type of extensions that you have, I recommend you to get one of these. This one is a softer and more gentle on the extensions. It's not going to be pulling them. And you can see how soft the one is. Very flexible. And the bristles are not harsh at all. Are made of an ABS plastic. So you can see here. Very nice for this type of fiber. So I would recommend you to get one of these. We do sell them here in the reception if you want. They're only 50 cents the package. It comes like 10 of them. Okay, we are almost done with this eyebrow. Yeah, you don't need that many here because we're going to be drawing hair by hair in the other parts. That's the only aftercare you need for your eyebrows extensions for that part. Oh, actually, I'm gonna do a straightening on you when we finish this. So, these eyebrows is gonna be permanently going to the right, um, right directions. Mm -hmm. All you need to do when you wake up is pass the brush just once, and that will be all. You won't need to put any makeup on your eyebrows at all. So, it's gonna be pretty fast to get ready okay. okay nice we're almost done with this eyebrow and the rest is gonna be easier there we go. Let me get the tint for the hair that I'm going to be drawing on you. Okay, I think this tone will be the one. And let's apply it with this one right here. that to get dry before I start with the hair by hair.
good. Now let me get the tool for the hair by hair. It's gonna look like a needle, but it's not a needle. I'm not gonna cut or insert anything in your eyelid, okay? So don't get scared. So here, you can see the application. The thing is gonna go right down here and I'm gonna be applying it like if it was a tattoo gun. Gently, tiny hairs that I'm gonna be drawing there, okay? Now, since this is extremely soft, I need you to be really, really still so my hand can draw perfect lines, okay? That's why I ask you to recline your hair to the back. Okay, okay. it's ready. Oh, where's my hair? Okay, here is my tent. Okay, you ready? I like to do it freehand, but I'm gonna recline my hand to your forehead and your cheeks, okay? Okay, here we go. Let me know if I'm, up, I'm applying too much pressure reclining my hand to your, to your face. But I need it to stabilize my hand, okay? And here we go. This is the fastest part because I'm a fast drawer. Now the trick here is to draw the lines like it's going in a natural way like you normally do with your eyebrows but the difference here is that this tint is a semi-permanent so I'm trying to do the strokes of hair very lightly by putting quite a lot of them to mimic how the eyebrows look Natural hair eyebrow. Okay, that looks good. Okay. Yeah, I know I'm applying too much pressure to your cheek, but I needed to have um, stabilization. Okay, good. No, the straightening process is just applying a cream and brushing the eyebrow in the direction that we want. It doesn't take that long. And that go with, with a tint to tint your eyebrows. So it has a perfect color every time. Yeah, it also lasts eight weeks. You can come for a toy shop for half a price. But if you take more than eight weeks, let's say 10, 12, you're gonna have to pay full price because by that time you won't have any of the tint of or the eyebrow extension so I really recommend you to come before that and make your appointment so we can remind you looks very nice good 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 Bit here. Okay. Both ones look great. Perfect. Just a little bit more here. I'm just filling up the lines that I created earlier. Very nice. Now start here. And here we go. Yeah, you had a rhythm 
of the arrows that I draw in the right direction so it's faster and more natural now with microblading you have to press very deep into the skin so the inks goes in but that's why it lasts for so long it's kind of like a mini tattoo it is a tattoo some sort Okay, perfect. There we go. Okay, let me remove the line so I can see how it looks without it. Uh, okay, where's my remover? Right here. It's gonna smell a little bit like alcohol. That's for the remover. Don't worry, it's completely harmless to the eyebrows tension. Mm. Okay, can you take the mirror? Now you can see here that is a complete shape of eyebrow. It goes a little bit fading in the start and going darker and darker going to the tail. Just trying to see if there are any gaps in there that I need to draw more hairs. like a perfectionist here okay I think that that looks very very nice on you okay now let's work with the string no. um, let me get the cream Now, this one has quite of an aroma. It can be a little bit strong. So if it's too much for you, let me know. <clears throat> now, this will seal your own eyebrows with the eyebrow extensions. And the rest that I drew, going to just one direction. So it all stays together. No, it doesn't, it's not gonna look like glue after it dries out. It's just gonna make the eyebrows go to just one direction. Okay, here we go. I know the smell is kinda strong. And here, I have to be very quick with this and brush it in the direction that I want. Now we have to cover them. gonna let them like that for a minute or two. Okay. Remove my cloth. 
because it has a little bit of the stain there. I'm gonna let that sit, sit there. Now for the aftercare. As I was saying, be very careful if you scratch your eyebrow. Um, no direct water hit into this area. So if you tend to shower like this, try to do it like this. If the water goes down in this direction, it, it happens. It doesn't happen anything. But if it um, hits you directly, it can damage the eyebrows. Okay. So it's very important that no direct hits of water. No scratching directly into the extensions here. Uh, use a very soft brush to brush your eyebrows. So I was saying, like this one, it will be perfect. You can use any color if you want, uh, but you won't really, really need it. Uh, you're gonna wake up with perfect eyebrows at least for eight weeks. Uh, <coughs> Please come by the eight weeks so we can do the, the touch up without paying extra. And I believe that's it. Oh, I have a little hair flying around here. <laughs> so, let me take it off now. I don't want to overdo it. There we go. Wipe it off. And brush it again very lightly. And now you can take a peek to the final uh, review of your eyebrows. You like them? Oh, no, thank you. Oh, let me just take this off. here. Now it is very important to come before the 8 week. I can apply uh, for a, an appointment and remind you before that. Okay. I'm just gonna need your phone number. I have your name already in the system. Okay. Now I'm gonna put the reminder here for 8 weeks. We're gonna be calling you uh, like three or four days before that so we can make the appointment right there because we don't know how our agenda is going to be but during that day okay I put the note there so that will be it any questions well it was a complete pleasure working with you you have very beautiful eyes and these new eyebrows really compliment you of course Take care and see you in eight weeks. Goodbye.